What's up, y'all? It's Louie. Just uh, checking in with y'all. Been a little busy the past couple days. Had a show Wednesday night. Then early morning, Thursday, we went out and uh, we uh, went up to the Bay to go into San Quentin. Did a workshop. Really excited, really important work we're doing over there. Emotional literacy, aim for the heart, mic sessions, no more tears. Shouts to Layla Steinberg. Uh, you guys should go definitely check out the teaser that we uh, just put up on the mic sessions page. I repeat the mic sessions. Go follow right now and you can check it out on the Facebook as well. Uh, you know, man, uh, it's really awesome to share a couple of things with y'all. Like, um, we, let's see, well, shit, I'm tired as hell if y'all ain't know. But um, let's see, who was in there? Um, Devin Steele, some of y'all know him. He was a uh, football player, just retired, really cool dude. Uh, another, another player, Charles, was in there, really awesome player as well from Ball State. They both shared their stories, uh, really inspirational stuff, just about <laughs> uh, getting through adversity. And, um, and then um, we also did our Mike Sessions workshop there, which is about emotional literacy and sharing and expressing um, our feelings and our, well, our traumas through arts and poetry and music and hip hop and songs and all genres. Um, and so it was a really cool day. And I guess if I had to share some with y'all from the experience, I think, um, you know, one thing is that, you know, great things really do take a lot of time. So invest in yourselves, y'all really invest in yourselves. I mean, y'all artists, you know what I mean? And the advice I have for y'all, a lot of you guys are independent or uh, whether you're independent or not, you know, one thing I took from yesterday is that, you know, you gotta, you gotta really believe in yourself and you really gotta push for a long time. Sometimes things are not just gonna happen every day. You know what I mean? Things are not just gonna snap at a finger. You try some once and it's there, but you, you push, you push, you plant a seed and you believe in that seed and you water that seed. And over time, through sunlight and the, and the glory of God, you will achieve anything that you put your mind to if you put that work in and you know artists you guys know really if you putting that work in like you also got to be real with yourself like are you really putting in the effort that's necessary and and that's one thing about this beautiful grind thing to me is like when i looked at the level um when i looked at like how much art i was really creating in a year and the impact that it was having, I thought, well, man, I'm making way too many songs and writing way too much stuff that to not be sharing this with the world. And I think that um, a big piece of it is also just like keeping it raw, you know what I mean? Uh, keeping it raw and not necessarily worried about how you're gonna sell or this or that, not worried about um, how you're going to be received, just expressing how you feel. So that's why I think the Beautiful Grind really ties in with the Mike Sessions work and Aim for the Heart work. So you guys make sure to check that out and we'll, we'll keep in touch soon, man. Beautiful Grind, new song today I'm dropping, Monsters in the Mirror. So y'all go check that out. iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, Monsters in the Mirror.